What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com! Oh, here's an issue that I am so glad has actually come to the forefront, and that is fit shaming. Now, we've heard of fat shaming. That's making fat people feel bad for eating bad food and doing all this and doing all that. And I remember my girl Maria Kang was, um, was put on the hot seat. She did that picture of her with the three kids looking all hot. Like, what's your excuse was the caption. And all these fat people got all, and I'm calling, I'm not calling them fat disrespectfully, but they were a member of the NAAFP, the National Association of the Advancement of Fat People. Okay, so they know they're fat. That's the word they use. It is what it is. Now, I'm all good with fat people, okay? I don't care. Whatever you want to eat, ingest, as long as I don't have to eat it, as long as I don't have to look a certain way because you want me to look a certain way, I'm cool with it. Okay, now, I've been a victim of fit shaming a lot. Now, I understand that that's to be expected as a professional bodybuilder because I look cartoonish. And when people see different things, they tend to react. Like, you ever see kids when they see, like, a person with some kind of an abnormality that they've never seen before, they just stare. Now, bodybuilding's kind of a, the same way, where if you see somebody with really large muscles, people are going to automatically stare and say things. Some people may find it attractive. Some may find it repulsive. But I'm talking about normal fit people. And in essence, what I've seen, and I'm going to give you an anecdote where I've been victim of it. Um, just recently at a uh, at a holiday party, and uh, I got to tell you, it got nasty. I left the house and I said the f word and walked out. And um, I took my and it was it was one where my wife was threatened. And uh, it's one of those things that people just assume things about people um, because of the way they look. One is you know being fit, looking like me. You do get accused of being stupid, which is probably correct in my case. So here's the deal now. People assume that we put to like, oh, I could never do this fight. And they, they just assume that you have no life, have no job, have no intellect. And all you do is spend hours and hours and hours and hours in the gym. And they'll also shame you if you go to, oh, you're going to eat that. I can't believe you eat that. I can't believe you eat something with such little bits of taste. Oh, it's so terrible. It's so this and so that. Another thing in fit shaming is I wouldn't want to look like that. Oh, if you have a girl who's in good shape, there's this girl trained at the gym and I told my brother and, and nothing sexual at all and I'm like you know what I respect the fact that girl's in here busting her ass and she's in good shape and um you know it's one of those things where you you kind of get people get you get told you work hard to look the way you do now it doesn't take much work to look fat you just stop exercising you sit there you eat and you 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 get fat right now to be lean takes work and it takes pride it takes effort it takes self-esteem it takes a lot of things and when you get told you're unattractive, oh, you're too big for me. I don't want to get that big. Or, oh, she's too skinny. Oh, her butt's too round. Oh, this, oh, that. What it is, it's a way for people who are lesser than you. And I am saying they're lesser than us because they don't have the gut. Now, also keep in mind, a lot of fit people, a lot of CEOs, you look at Vince McMahon, hell, you look at, um, look at our presidents. They exercise. At the end of the day... Fit people generally make more money from the statistics I've read. So what people try to do is they try to use insults to bring you down to their level. Now, I'm not saying being in shape makes you better than anyone else. I'm saying that being in shape does not make you worse than anyone else. And that's all I'm trying to get across. I treat everybody the same, whether they're overweight, whether they can't see their penis or vagina, or whether that they have, um, and they have saddlebags, or whether they're Mr. Olympia Phil Heath. Everybody gets treated exactly the same. And that's all we're asking of you. Um, and people are like, they're, they're rude, you know? It's like, you know... If they see a guy who's in shape, oh, that guy has an ego. That guy is a douchebag. That guy's a piece of shit. Just by the way we look, fit shaming is real. And what I've noticed is that, you know, there's um, another thing. Like, I'm just, I'm looking through. There's um, there's a few articles that I'm referencing. Spotmegirl.com had one. Um, and I'm just looking at this and it's like, People who are out overweight, I'm quoting, this is spotmegirl.com, have probably seen so many backhanded compliments. Like, I wish I could flaunt my body the way you do. I'm just not like that. Some people think female lifters are manly, but you really embrace the muscles. Good for you. Things like that, they're backhanded compliments. And I mean, those are not compliments. Now, my whole thing is judge a book by its contents, not by its cover. And I remember I was sitting at the airport. I got a couple anecdotes I just want to go into because it's my channel. Um, where I'm sitting at the airport and I had, a, I had a conversation with, I believe it was a professor. And we talked about politics. We had a lot of time. We had a plane delay. We talked about politics. We talked about world events. We talked about anything from marketing theory. We just went down the list. 
And at the end, he's like, you're one of the smartest people I've ever talked to. And he said, I didn't expect that. And I said, why? And he said, well, because of the way you look, I'm be dead honest with you. And I respected that about him. And I said, you know what? I get that a lot. And I don't think people realize that a lot of the smartest people you're going to meet are going to be in shape, are going to at least be fit physically and mentally and emotionally. And when you're physically fit, you know, it says a lot about you. Like if you're in a job interview and you take care of yourself, you keep your nails trimmed, you keep your fade touched up and you exude that confidence, that pride, that alphaism. And as a male or female, you can be alpha and you have your chest out. And you know what? That's something that, that, that exudes a lot of pride and a lot of, of self-worth. Now, there could be some, some bosses that feel intimidated and don't hire you because they don't want you to over, overshadow them. For them, it's not even worth working for them because you're not going to last anyway. Because you're going to either end up taking their job, <laughs> which is usually what happens, or they're going to fire you for basically being better than them. And that's what happens. A good leader is someone who surrounds themselves with people better than them who actually fill their voids. Now, I'm going to go over a holiday party I went to. We were having fun at dinner, just talking trash, this and that. You know, it was it was all good. They were drunk. I don't drink. Um, I always make the joke, I'm not going to do anything to damage my liver unless it puts on a good 10 pounds. It's a joke. Um, but I didn't make that joke that night. And um, so this woman just started attacking me about how bodybuilding controls my life. She has no idea. I don't even compete. She has no idea. She just she knows my brother. She goes, well, your brother was like this when he was this. And I'm like, whoa, hold on. Let's just drop this conversation. I said, starting to insult me. She just kept going and going. And it was to the point where she started insulting, accusing me of having a temper. I've never met this woman in my life. She says, well, at the, at the baseball fields, I saw you at a temper. I'm like, a temper. I'm like, what baseball field? My kid plays t-ball. You don't, you, you don't, where? She couldn't answer that. She was just making shit up as she went on. She wasn't that drunk to do that. At that point, everybody kind of vacated the area because it was getting a little ugly. I was keeping, I was just like, well, why are you saying this? I was like, see, I'm the kind of guy, I don't, I don't like starting conflicts at parties. You know what I mean? And finally, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go uh, freshen up, whatever. So I left, and my wife was so pissed. She just left the room, right? And so she's in the back room with Preston. And this bitch corners her. And, and my wife's like, you don't know us. The only thing about us, get out of my face. So she stood in the doorway. Literally was physically threatening my wife. My wife just pushed her out of the way to so get the fuck out of my way, right? So later on, um, long story short, nothing really was said. So I come downstairs like, dude, I got a bolt. I feel uncomfortable. I don't want to mess up the party. And this bitch fucking, I'm walking out the door. She hits me in my chest. And I'm like, did you just fucking touch me? And then, and then she goes, what's your problem? And then she goes, there's that temper. And I say, you know what? Fuck off. You're a fucking piece of shit. She's like, I didn't whoop her husband's ass. I ain't going to hit a woman, but I'll whoop her husband's ass. So long story short, all of this was caused not because of my attitude, not because of my demeanor. I was acting exactly, you know, if, if anybody who knows me in person knows that I'm, I'm pretty damn happy-go-lucky and calm. Um, just because of the way I looked and because she was fat, out of shape, and a piece of shit, I'm just being real, and she felt good bringing me down to her level. She felt good saying that the reason I'm in shape is because I sacrificed this, this, and this. The reason I'm in shape, and I'm, I'm in shape, and I also, my brother and I beat our kids, and all this, this, and the other. And I'm like... You know, it is what it is. So at the end of the day, let me just let me just put a summary into place. Any kind of shaming isn't good. Fat shaming is bad. Shaming someone because of their race is bad. Fit shaming is just as bad. It seems like if you're in shape, you go out to eat. Oh, you're how I couldn't eat that. I couldn't do that. And how are we supposed to feel? We're always kind of left at the, you know, oh, you weigh your food. Oh, you, you drink shakes. Those shakes are nasty. I obviously haven't tried my mint cookies and cream. And, and it's, it's one of those things where, you know, you just have to kind of deal with it. The thing being is that fat shaming and fit shaming are two really stupid things to shame anybody about because it's our choice. You know, if you're born black or Jewish or Mexican or white, you can't control that. You know what I mean? You can't control your heritage. That's something you're born with. Being fit and being fat is a choice we make. There's nobody who's forced to be fat. I don't care what they say about genetics. I don't care what they say about thyroid. There's always medical ways around that. You're fat because you choose not to exercise. You choose not to eat right. And you choose not to make the right choices to be fit. 
You're fit because you choose to be fit. I look this way because I train my ass off and I eat correctly and I supplement correctly. And I've been doing it for 20 years. I like this look. This is a look I work on. This is a look I'm proud of. I wear this like my badge of honor. This, this body right here, everything, regardless of what you guys say about my weak points, this body right here is the result of 20 years of hard work in the gym and in the kitchen. And I wear it with pride. And if that pride offends some people, so be it. They can go fuck themselves. This is my body. This is my hard work. Throughout everything, throughout gaining weight because my father passed away, throughout you know all the injuries I've had, throughout everything, the one thing I could take with me is I can lift up my shirt and I have abs. And I also maintain a, a great career and, and I, I'm a great father. And, and no one can take that away from me. And I balance it all. And my brother is the same exact way. And to use any bit of an insult to bring us down after all the work we put into looking this way, and I will be real, it is much harder to be fit than it is to be fat. Nonetheless, shaming is not acceptable at any means. So fat shaming, fit shaming, is shaming someone because their sexual orientation, because who they want to have sex with, that's, that's not acceptable. So... With that said, guys, thanks for watching. This is a serious video. I mean, I didn't want to go out screaming like I usually do. Um, it's discrimination, and that's not acceptable. I see a lot of racist bullshit comments on YouTube, and frankly, they piss me off and you get banned right away. Unfortunately, somehow banning people on YouTube doesn't work because somehow they keep coming back by creating a new account, this and that. And for you guys, you are the biggest forms of shit God ever created. Because you need to find some constructive things to do with your life. This weekend, I'm donating tens of thousands of dollars to a charity. Because I worked hard to raise money, fairly and correctly, for this charity from someone I love. Okay? Find time, instead of shaming someone, to make someone's life better. Don't be negative. Be positive. Don't hate people. Love people. That's all I got to say. I'm guilty. You know? Sometimes I do hate people. There's, there's one guy especially. I'm just playing. No, but seriously, guys. Don't shame anybody. And if people are fit shaming you, don't shame them back. Because two wrongs don't make a right. This fat bitch, I'm going to call her fat bitch now. But when we were in that moment, I didn't say anything negative about her. I just defended myself. And um, yeah, I wish my wife would have punched her in the face. That would have been awesome. Because I ain't going to hit a woman. But I'll guarantee you this. If that ever happens again, her husband's there. I'm probably going to knock his ass out just for marrying her. Anyway, I'm, Mark, I'm just playing. I'm not going to, maybe. I'm Mark Lovliner, TigerFitness.com. Because shaming anybody is bullshit. And if you do shame someone, you're a piece of shit. And being a piece of shit, that's not a game.